SNM Productions. You know when you have that perfect day, when everything just falls into place, everything goes according to plan. You think that nothing in the world can bring you down. That's exactly the problem. The first sign that a fail is about to arise, you find yourself dancing in your room. By yourself, when the true fail decides to present itself. The phone rings and you answer it with pure elegance and sincerity. Hello? Hey, what's up? Nothing, what do you want? Don't be rude, I just want to call you and say hi. I just graduated. Yay, what do you want though? I already told you, I said nothing. Vodka or rum? Vodka. I'm fucking annoyed, I'm fucking annoyed. Another day, another fail. Everyone has those people that will just call you never, and then when never ends, they call you. And they think that you don't notice. They, they just, for some reason, they just think that you don't notice that you, they've not talked to you for eight or nine months or ten years. And then they think that calling you or texting you, hey, is normal. And that's just, nope. And really, it's, I mean, it's obvious. It, I mean, it's obvious when someone just ignores you for a couple years and then says, hey. I mean, that's... Sorry. And people just use you for when they need something. They, they, they don't talk to you. They don't text you. They don't Facebook you. You hear nothing from them unless they want something. And it is very obvious, people. It doesn't work. I'll admit, I've had the times where... In the past, I have, you know, realized that, hey, I haven't talked to these people in forever, but I'm just like, whatever, like, maybe, just maybe they want to rekindle a friendship or a relationship of some sort. No, they just wanted, like, a ride, or they wanted some money, or they just needed something. And, yeah, and it's just really unacceptable. It really is unacceptable. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? No, nothing. Oh, do you want to go out? Do you want to? Do you want to go out to the club or something? I've been dying to go out. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Oh, great! It's been so long. I can't wait to see you. Yeah. Okay. Well, what time do you want to meet there? Well, I don't have a ride. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, whenever someone wants a ride. Yeah. And, and, then, and then they meet someone there. Yeah. Bye. And then they get you when you want their ride. They don't talk to you last night. Yeah. No, I love this. I love this one. My friend Blake does this. My friend Blake does this. He's like, okay, he's like, and I, I but the thing is, like, I know I'm gonna pick him up, so I'm already annoyed, but I'm like, whatever, like, it's worth it, like, I'll just, like, I'll pick him up. And so, this is why, I don't know if anyone's ever done this, so I, like, drove there, okay, and I was like, okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes, like, I told him. And then, like, I get, like, I always, like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, whenever I get close to the house, I always call or text them to make sure that they're ready, because I don't want to sit there awkwardly in their driveway. So, I get in, like, I'm like, okay, well, Blake, I'm, like, sit, like, I just got here, and he goes, just come inside. And I already know that he's still laying in his bed, hasn't taken a shower, and is not dressed. And I will always fail you. <laughs> Even Whitney meant the true fail. Oh, Whitney, she did meet the true fail. Yeah, the true fail came and took her away. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the true fail to take us away. I really just want to become a vamp. I just want to become a- Ugh. Can you imagine just- I want to get the, the thinnest I can possibly be and the best looking and then just have a vamp come and bite me. Uh, that'd be the true success. Yes, it really- it, it is the true success. <laughs> but sometimes things don't fail. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That is the true lie. Remember when things didn't fail? No. 
I, I don't I, remember that time. <laughs> sometimes I try to remember the happier times, and then I remember I haven't died yet. Hey. Hello. Thanks for picking me up. No, no problem. I'm used to people feeling and having no cars. Huh? I said I'm used to driving. What would we do without cars? That's not what you said. Yes, it is. Oh. I think we can stop by at the gas station. Oh, I love that place. Let's go in there. Can we stop somewhere? I gotta pee. It's not a dead animal in there. Pull over. I think we can save him. It's dead. Is there an ATM anywhere? Because I need to get some money out of my account. Ugh, I forgot my wallet. Can we go back? I actually forgot. I have to go home tomorrow. Can you drop me off? An annoying dumb It's ironic because I've always told people never burn your bridges with people. Like, never hate someone. I mean, you can hate someone's fine. But don't let them know that. And, you know, you're never, you're never done with them. Just keep throwing them aside for a while until you need something. Just be over them. Don't hate them. Just be over them until you need something. But... If you're going to use those people, you need to be sly about it. You need to be intelligent about it. Don't not talk to someone for months on months and then just be like, hey, be smart and text them and hang out with them a couple times. Make them seem like you want to be your friends. I'm not promoting this. No, I am. But all I'm saying is if you're going to do that, be smart about it and don't let people find out what you're doing and don't be the supreme fail. I have to go to work by. Remember guys, another day will always be another supreme fail. We were looking at people, and I said, oh, did you see so-and-so's picture? And she goes, no. And I just go, dump. <laughs> if you want to hear more bitching, squawking, and barking, follow me on Malitwit. <laughs>